What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff, the series where I teach you how to make a comfortable bed using toothpaste and lava lamps. It's wonderful. It's cozy. But moving on with the Eagle Moss Ghostbusters Ecto-1 kit. We're beginning a new issue this week. We're beginning issue number 14. And as always, this covers four separate assemblies in the build. And uh, before we get down to the build, let's take a look at the magazine and see what's inside. As always, we have the uh, rundown of the parts, our instrucciones, and we get here, and we have Kurt Fuller, his breakout role as Jack Hardmeyer in Ghostbusters 2. I believe I'm pronouncing it Hart Hardmeyer? 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 I, yeah, I don't remember. But <laughs> I always liked him. He was always good in the movies he was in. And apparently he was in awe and nervous the whole time. Ooh, but yeah, just a uh, nice little article here on Kurt Fuller. About his role in Ghostbusters 2. Cool stuff, cool stuff. There he is now. He has not aged well. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Time does it to us all. But uh, the puppet masters, we have the, uh, the puppeteering, people who worked on the various practical effects and all that good stuff. I always love the uh, behind the scenes photos. Very cool. It's just, <laughs> I love that. Just. Hanging out in the back of the pickup truck. Why not? Why not? And uh, here we go. We have some concept art for the Ecto-1. We got some nice little concept art. Ooh, look at oh, look at that. That's interesting. There we go. <laughs> what if the car had looked like that in the movie? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. But yeah. That's possessed. Ah, here's we go. There you go. Oh, look at her. And the makeup put on. Oh, that's cool. Ah, ah. That's just weird. <laughs> uh, it's a near final design, apparently. Ah, ah. Creepy, creepy. There you go. And quotes. You like quotes? There's some quotes. Can read some quotes. There you go. More quotage. And what's going to be in the next issue and all that good stuff. So, all right. There well, we got the magazine. Here we have our parts. So let's get down to it. Because as always, ain't nothing to it. But to do it. Yes. Take that out. And yes. Pick all this up. Parts in here, rolling around. Is that everything? That is everything. So get out, get out of my life. Open that up. Get out of here. We have a skiz. We have a skiz. And alrighty. So we'll just take this out. There we go. Woo. Okay. So here is what we are working with. This time around, so let's open up our instrucciones. Ay, que instrucciones! Ay, okay. Alrighty, alrighty. So what are we doing here? Uh, so we're taking this piece. This is the cushion. Oh, it's actually um, this rubber. It's made of rubber. That's interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. So we are doing this. We're holding it in this orientation. I'm sorry, I'm just amazed by this. There's even a cushion. That's hilarious. It's actually a little bit of like a little foam in here. <laughs> so it's actually like a little cushion seat. That's cool. I like that. Anyway. Okay, so we're holding this piece in this orientation. And then it seems like we're putting this right over it okay and 
Where is this all going? Okay, let's see. Wait, no. Oh, okay, I see. I see. So we have to feed this up because these little these these parts are rubber also. So these little tabs have to go over these where the screw is going to go. I see what's happening here. Okay, I see. I see. So we're doing this. Oh, and by the way, we're doing stage 47, the front seat parts. Cool! All right, cool. It's cool. All right. <laughs> all right. So this is what we're doing. So we're trying to maneuver all these bits around so they sit over top where their respective skis are going to go. So, yeah. Right there. So around. Well, good thing this is flexible. Okay. All right. Okay. Couple more. Already. Right there. And. Okay. So we got that in place. That just gives us some uh, rigidity now. Okay. So we got that going, and now it just needs. It needs to be screwed. It needs a good screw. And so, what are we using here? Where are they? Uh, we're using some MP screws. MP UP MP. Ah, beep, 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 beep. We got lots of PM to do here. Lots of PM. You know what? I'm just gonna dump them all out. I'm gonna dump them all out. And we're just gonna go around the perimeter here and just get this all nice and skidded. So let's just hope that things line up as they should. Did I go in? It did. We're just gonna we're just gonna do it now. And now whiskey! Whiskey! Ah, whiskey! If I do my usual thing of getting them all started first before we screw, then it will, this will take forever. So let's just, <laughs> let's just do this now. Get the skin. All right. So this is just fixing all this and making it one piece, obviously. All righty. So how's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? As always, hope everyone's doing well, everyone's staying safe. Me, I'm building some front seat parts for my Ecto-1. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing on this Tuesday evening. This isn't going in. Where, where, where? There we go. That's what I'm doing on my Tuesday evening. Again, for those of you who don't know, I record these videos on Tuesday. You watch it on Wednesday. They get uploaded on Wednesday, but I record these on Tuesday. So for me, it's Tuesday. So I'm coming to you from one day in the past. What's going on in the future? What's going on in the future? You tell me. Do we have flying cars yet? Flying cars. Robot maids. I mean, actual robot maids, not Roombas. Roombas, Ro Roombas don't count. I don't count Roombas as robot maids. I mean actual robot maids, like in the Jetsons, you know, like actual, actual like cyborg maids. Do we have those yet? Do we have those tomorrow? I don't know, probably not. Probably, probably still a bunch of people with uh, electronic hockey pucks vacuuming their floors for them. Eh, whatever. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, You know, I've thought about getting a Roomba, getting one of those little Roomba things, but I, I, I'm just like, whatever, I can, <laughs> I can push a vacuum. It's not that hard. It's really not. I'm not that lazy. I can, you know, I can plug the vacuum in and push it around and, you know, I can vacuum the floors. You know, it's not that much. It takes all of like a couple minutes out of my day. It's really not, it's really not all that uh, labor and time intensive, you know? <laughs> Uh, I will say this about technology. One thing about technology is technology is awesome because it does 
it does it, Technology makes our lives easier, but at the same time, technology is kind of making us lazier, you know? Like, it's just... Like, like, like the remote control, for, uh, for example. Like, now they have remote controls you can just talk into and just tell the TV what you want to watch, because apparently this is too much work now. I don't know. I, d I don't... I, you know, again, cool feature, but I can do this. This is not... I'm cool. I can manage that. I'm not, you know. <laughs> you yeah, know, so yeah, you know, technology's kind of a double-edged sword. It's like making life easier, but at the same time making us lazier at the same time. I don't know. I don't know. Call me old-fashioned. I don't know. <laughs> all right. So is that all we had to do? I think that's all of them in there, right? Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 and boom. These, they're not getting any screws. Those are for something else, apparently. Okay. All right, so we got that part done. All right, cool. So let me take these extra screws. Drop them back in here. And boom, okay. Okay, so we got that done. Oh, that it, I love that, because it actually feels cushy like a real seat. That's awesome. Ah! Attention to detail. I love it. I love it. They could have just made that just a hard plastic piece, but no, it's actually like rubber and it has cushion and it actually, that's awesome. Oh, it is awesome. Anyway, let's continue on. So now we're bringing in these pieces and this is going on to, uh, okay, this is going on to what we did last week. So these are going where? These are going on either side here it looks like right am i doing this right yeah i think so yeah 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 like that wait where's this little post there's a little post here where's that post go is that the right spot okay seems like it yeah okay the picture has the little post right here on this corner and apparently the other one's gonna go the same way okay 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 and what do these get? These get... Where are they? Where are they? AP screws! AP, UP, lots of P. There's a lot of P. There's a lot of P in this build, apparently. This is just gonna... Oh, this is gonna... This is just gonna... Oh, this is gonna smell like asparagus. Oh, no. <laughs> ah! Where are we going here? There we go. Okay. Cisco, stop moving! Stop move! Stop! Stop it! Stop it! You stay! You stay! Right there, please. Thank you. Okay. Jeez, you know, sometimes these things just don't want to cooperate. You gotta get stern with them sometimes. You gotta get stern with them. Right, there we go. There we go. Get these in place. All righty. All righty. Get that snug. Snuggity snug. There we go. Yeah. So we got that one. And this one is going, it looks like, according to the picture here, in the same orientation. So it's going... They're there with that little post on this corner. That's what the picture says. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, okay. Okay, it's like, sorry, it's like, it's like bumped the camera. Sorry. <laughs> what? Excuse me. Pardon me. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be doing that. Okay, what do we... We need more AP screws. <laughs> Lots of peeing in this build. Okay. Get this going. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. So this is coming along nicely. Nicely, nicely. And I mentioned I'm having fun with this. I'm having so much fun with this. <laughs> 
I can't wait for the Enterprise. I, I believe the Enterprise parts are supposed to start shipping like any day now, actually. So hopefully soon we'll uh, we'll start building the Enterprise. And I'm excited for that. Ooh, I'm excited for that. All right, so we got those bits on per the instructions. That's the way it's that's the way the picture looks. That's the way I did it. I hope that's not wrong. Okay, so now we are putting the seat cushion onto this frame here. Okay. So that is just going in this orientation like so. That's just sitting all right in there. And I'm supposed to sit in it. Are we see if I'm oriented properly I think I am I think I'm oriented properly here okay so what do we need here we need some IP screws IP up here we up here there's so much P there is so much P in this build and there's there's th that's not cat hair that was actually just that's I don't know what that was that wasn't cat hair that was that's that was a little disturbing. That could have been anything. I don't know. But anyway, there we IP screws. <laughs> Lots of peeing in this build. Lots of peeing. A whole lot of peeing. This is just gonna be a stinky, stinky build because there's just way too much pee. It's overflowing with pee. But hey, it is what it is. We are working towards a goal here, so we're gonna start with the middle. That's all I'm gonna do. Start with the middle. Work my way out. And again, I always manage to go with some weird southern accent. I have no idea why I do this. It just, just happens. It's just some kind of weird thing. It just, I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. Mm hmm. That's right. Mm hmm. I don't know. Anyway. Will you stay, will you stay on the screwdriver, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for working with me. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Big preach. Big, big preach. Thank you. So. <laughs> Sometimes you have to have conversations with the screws. <laughs> you know, you gotta make them feel like they matter. You gotta make them feel special. You know? You gotta make them feel like what they're doing, you know, means something. Gotta let them know, I appreciate you, screw. I appreciate the security that you are affording me, screw. And you know what? They'll thank you for it, and they'll love you for it. Because screws don't get the uh, don't get the love and appreciation they so rightly deserve. Because let's be honest here, screws are what uh, what keeps this world together. You know what I mean? It just almost everything we have involves screws of some kind. So we and we take them for granted. We take these screws for granted. And we can't. We shouldn't. We should let them know that we appreciate it. We, 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 need, we need National Screw Day. That's what we need. We need, we, need that, we need to make that a new holiday. National Screw Day, where we just sit back and we appreciate the screws and everything they've done for us. That is what this world needs right now in 2021. We need National Screw Day. Because without screws... We are screwed. I mean, that's all there is to it. And you know, that's not just a cliche. That's not just, that's not just a tagline. That is facts right there. That is facts. I need one more IP screw here. Those are facts. So we need to start a petition to have a national screw day so we can appreciate the screws that fasten the world and our hearts. <laughs> I got myself on that one. I'm sorry. Oh, that one got me. But anyway, hey, I can make myself laugh. I don't need you guys. I don't need any of you. I can make myself laugh. I think I'm hilarious. That's all that matters. <laughs> Uh, 
one thing I will say is that no one's opinion matters. If you think you're funny, then you're funny. If only to you, then you are funny. But anyway. <laughs> Okay, so we got we got all that done right. All the screws were in place. Everything is oriented as it should be, seems like. And yeah, that is it. That is it. We got the we got the little little cushion of our of our seat here. Ah, that's awesome. I love that. That is so cool. There we go. We are done. This oops. Didn't realize there was another screw there. Oh, come back, screw. Come back, screw. I'm sorry, screw. I appreciate you, Screw. I appreciate you. Hold up, let me put, let me put him back. I need to put him back in his home. There we go. Are you are you an are you an AP Screw? IP Screw? I think he is. I think so. There we go. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. I was just apologizing to the Screw for dropping it. There we go. Yes, this is what the assembled piece should look like. Right there. See. Assembled piece should look like this is what the assembled piece looks like. It looks like the picture. Therefore, huzzah, huzzah, we have made progress. And there you go. We are done with this stage of the build. There we go. We've made some progress, and as always, progress is progress, and progress is good. So. There you go. As always, if you would like to sign up for your own Ecto-1 kit, there'll be a link in the description down below for you to check out. And if you missed any stage of this build, there is a playlist in the description down below as well. So you can check that out at your leisure and you can watch this lovely vehicle take shape before your very eyes. And uh, yeah, so we're done with this. We'll see you next week with the next stage of the build. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this exciting episode of MGO Builds Stuff. And remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Pum in your face.